Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Med Easy, your all-time favorite YouTube channel. Let's see today's case. So, this is the image of today's case. First, go through it and come to your own diagnosis. Then, we will continue with the case discussion. Hi, welcome back everyone. This is case number 25 in our series in radiology. So our patient is a neonate with uh, respiratory distress. So this is a frontal chest radiograph of the corresponding patient. So you can see the abnormality in the left lung. So there are multiple rounded thin mole Lucencies, yeah, yeah, here yeah also, yeah, and a multiple round of thin wall lucencies projected over the left mid and lower zones. Left mid and lower zones, you can see the rounded opacities also. And apart from this, there's media stainer shift to the right side, heart and thymus or shift to the right side, trachea also shift shifted and uh, however no uh, plural effusions you can't see any plural effusions and uh, so there are multiple rounded lucencies multiple rounded lucencies and uh, there are rounded opacities also rounded opacities and lucencies however you can see the intact diaphragm diaphragm is intact and uh, no obvious bone abnormalities uh, no right side pneumothorax and so no mediastinal masses so the diagnosis in this case is congenital pulmonary airway malformation. Early it was known as congenital cystic adenomatoid malformation, CCAM. Now we call it CPAM. For differential diagnosis for cystic lucencies are congenital diaphragmatic hernia, congenital diaphragmatic hernia. In this case, uh, here you can see the diaphragm, congenital diaphragmatic hernia, you can't see the continuation of diaphragm. Other one is for cystic lucencies, uh, congenital lobe overinflation, congenital lobe overinflation or emphysema. It's another differential diagnosis. Another one is cystic bronchiectasis. Cystic bronchiectasis is also another differential diagnosis. If there are solid ones, these are DDs for lucencies, lucent areas. Uh, if there are solid ones, so cystic ones, you have to think of sequestration, sequestration, and bronchogenic cyst. These are differential diagnosis of cystic lesions, multiple. So these uh, CPM congenital pulmonary malformations, the congenital deformity, there are lucencies and these lucencies, rounded lucencies can fill with fluid. So there are air component as well as fluid component. So as I mentioned before, if there is air component only, these are the differential diagnosis. If there are cystic ones or solid component, these are the differential diagnosis. In CPM there are several types 0 to 4. So they are mainly based on the size of the cystic lucencies and one type 1 has the largest cyst. So 
this concludes uh, case number 24 in rs series in radiology so please subscribe our youtube channel and you can get notifications of our new videos and please keep kind enough to comment on our videos also thank you everyone thanks for watching please like and subscribe for more videos like this